Hello and welcome to our sixth tutorial about Prolog. Our today topic is condition in Prolog. Condition in Prolog also a very simple one we are going to learn. So which one just you have to remember a very si simple thing if and else. Okay. So how is that work actually? So is something like that. If okay this if a then b else c that means if a is true go to b if a is false direct go to c that's how the prolog condition is work so let's see have a one example just how can we let's say this is the rules f x y let's say x is the value we'll get from the user so f x y then this is the condition here the condition here and the then close I mean what if this condition is not true then execute this one and next another actually is just negated condition else close else close so this one so that's how the prologue uh, condition is work so let's have a look on a example code we will write a example code which is uh, consists of if else so open your SWI prolog and we are going to write a new file here so just I open any existing file let's say in, from the last tutorial I U. I'm going to open so from here I want to open a new here new so I have to put here name what I am to give the name so we can put the condition condition dot pl then just save it okay then the now see the condition dot pl it's actually tab system so you can either go this and this so let's write so first we write a close for the uh, we, we write a rules for the user like let's say the go then the user when type go uh, the code will be execute so right then we can say that okay uh, here I want to write a code which will compare two numbers so let's write it so write the word uh, write the number or input the number whatever you want then give the new line nl okay then actually after write we have to read so read x and we have to read two number because we, because we want to compare two numbers so read y for better understanding we put here nl and here also nl okay nl now the work okay this is keep like this uh, we we have to write the compare rules so that we can compare so let's write a compare rules compare x that's a y we want to compare x and y this value anything can be is like function that you we will call later on here this function okay let's write first so compare we already let's say have so if x greater than y okay then we can put new line actually no need here so write we said that okay if x greater than y right y is bigger uh, sorry x is bigger below okay so then so if we are in prologue if you want to place that okay else else do something if this one not true this condition do something so here we put another condition let's say we want to put condition if x if x less than y that means y is bigger then execute this right y is bigger value bigger value so we can finish our code here so what we have to do in the go we call this function we I told you is like function so I'm just calling you function you know so okay go we just call, um, call here so before call we have to put here okay this and we just call compare com let's say this x and y so then put so when we call this function that 
so now everything is going fine so let's consult this program so consult we have to, should have create new file here yeah it's condition then consult okay what we have to write I told you that we have to write go so right here go of course cap it, not cap it. okay write the number so we have to write the number let's say we want to write four which is four let's say we have to write three three so x is bigger value because you, you see from the program I told you that okay make it mm -hmm. okay so when first input is from x for x first input x which was 4 so 4 is the bigger than 3 so if you write once again write go the right so write two number here let's say I want to put 4 and 5 so this should be y is bigger value so our code is working fine so that's how the prolog condition is work so so that's all for today in this tutorial see you guys in next tutorial